All right, welcome back to Snow Runner, everybody. So I have done some prep for this episode. I went and got the long planks, the iron, or iron, the metal beams, and the metal rolls, and took them all to the crafting station so we can make the consumables that we need. Um, obviously, then I came over here and picked up this gold. I actually got a screenshot of the icon of the gold because I need to add it to the cargo sheet that I have made. That is the first link in my description in every SnowRunner video. So if you'd like to check that out, check it out. It is a cargo and crafting guide. It has... I also I need to put the uh, consumables crafting recipe in there as well. I don't have that in there. But it has all the crafting recipes for various maps and whatever else. Because some maps have... Uh, like Amura, for instance, has crafting recipes for things that are... Uh, like metal beams, for instance, I think is one of them, and it's a different recipe than previously on other regions, so I have like all that stuff in there. So if you want to check that out, check it out. It is uh, nice and neat and organized. It has all the icons. It's, uh, I don't know, I, I'm proud of it. I think I did a good job doing it, so check it out. But yeah, we've got this set up, so we just got to go pick up these other five gold, and then we can take them to where they need to go. And then we will figure out... I don't exactly know where these need to go, but once we figure that out, we'll um, see what else we can get done. But uh, it is a wheel episode again. I've been really enjoying playing with the wheels, so it's going to be an hour long. I hope you enjoy that as well. Um, I've, there's been some people that have been watching the whole video. I've been getting the analytics like after it posted. And there's been people that have literally watched for like 50 minutes. And it was only like, it was only like one view at the time, but someone watched like the whole video. So if that's you, um, thank you. I really appreciate you. And I hope you continue to watch my videos because uh, it's always nice to have someone that sticks around and watches the video. Let me know if you watch the whole video. If, if, you're, if it's you, then definitely leave a, leave a comment and tell me because, you know, that's... Uh, really cool. I really don't think I'm that entertaining, but maybe I am to some people. I don't know. I literally just, my son was like struggling to go to sleep tonight, so I let him come out here for a little bit, and he watched me as I was like preparing everything for this episode. And he always has so many questions, and it's funny. I like to answer him, because... He has a very, like, inqui he's very inquisitive, and, like, his questions are all usually very, um, like, very good questions, so I like to try to answer them for him, but he's a smart kid for being a first grader. He has this on his, he has Snare Runner on his Switch, but he just has, like, the vanilla game. I didn't buy any of the DLC for him, just because... He doesn't play it like I play it, obviously. Uh, so, like, it, buying the DLCs for him would just be a waste of money, in my opinion, because he's not going to play the game and, like, 100% it or anything like that. He just likes to drive around in the trucks. And he wants, like, he wants to be able to play on this map. And I'm like, buddy, if you want to play on this map, you'll just have to play. Because he has a, a PlayStation account. Um... So he can play any game that I have on on the PS5. He just has to switch to his profile, and then he can play it on his profile. So I told him that. I've told him that before, and he was like, "Really? I can do that?" And I was like, "Yeah. Like, it's, <laughs> I'm the primary, you know, PlayStation Plus holder. I'm the primary on the PlayStation 5. As long as you're signed in on it, you can do it." And you may be thinking, um, "Why do you have a?" A, like a his own account for him and there's a couple reasons one is because if you ever do check my PSM profiles there's a bunch of like random games on there that have like 0% trophies like uh, farming simulator and um, monster truck games and things like that and um, the reason for that is because he used I used to just let him just play on my account and he would just play whatever he wanted and then you know, be done. But like, uh, I kind of started doing this whole like YouTube thing, and um, not that I really care about having like a perfect 100% completion rate profile, 
but I do kind of pride myself in the fact that most games I play nowadays I do complete to 100% in terms of the trophy list at least and uh, him opening games like that and then me not actually being the one playing them kind of just like ruins that aspect of it and again not that I really care that much about it but it's just every time he does that it just reduces my completion percentage so I just figured I'd make him as an account and I originally made him a child account but child accounts on uh, playstations are just god awful you can barely do anything with them they're restricted to all hell which you know i don't disagree with i don't i think children on the internet is a very dangerous thing so you know i understand that but i just was like you know this is dumb i'm gonna be around anytime he's ever playing on it so you know i can make sure he's not talking to someone he shouldn't be and you can make regular accounts very private so i pretty much have his privacy settings turned completely like it, like no one can contact him no one can send him friend requests things like that so i feel okay about it and really the only games he ever like plays online with other people is like um like sack boy and stuff like that and it's mostly kids that end up playing those anyways so i'm not that concerned about it but like i said if he's playing on the playstation i'm usually sitting right here on the couch just doing something on my phone or on my computer so like i'm sitting here when he's playing it so it's not like he's you know somewhere off doing it on his own and who knows who he could be talking to it's, it's not going to happen so but if you have a young child i would recommend not making them a child account because it's really useless just make them their own account and then just lock it down as much as you can and then just obviously supervise them all right we got a lot of crane work to do here but yeah, so he can play any game I own or have downloaded from PlayStation Plus on his profile because it's, you know, I'm the primary user on this PlayStation. So anything I have on here, anyone else can play. So. But I'll just, whenever he does it, I'll just give him a... Um, I'll start a new game, new game plus for him, and then just, uh, I have a, I don't use it myself, but I, like, there's a money mod, and I'll just put that on so that he can get whatever trucks he wants, because I just have him logged into my, uh, mod account or whatever, so... But yeah, he'll just be able to do whatever he wants, buy any truck he wants, and just have fun goofing around. So it's kind of tedious, but I can't, my crane can't reach all the way back there, so I have to do it this way. I say this all the time, too, um, every, almost every time I'm loading something like this. But when you have a trailer like this, um, you can just put it right on top of the very first one and unpack and pack, and it'll pack just fine. Uh, it won't, you know, there won't be any issues. So you don't have to get it, like, flat on the trailer. Like, just setting it right here is totally fine, and it'll work. And like this, it's still attached to the crane. I don't even have to detach it from the crane. I can literally just hit unpack and pack, and it'll pack it. So, keep that in mind if you're trying to pack something that's a little, like, rolly, like, um, you know, um, metal rolls can sometimes be a pain because they're circular. So, like, you can just kind of stack it. Like, for instance, if you had to pack, you know, say you had to get eight metal rolls somewhere, which actually isn't that far off. Uh, Wisconsin, I think. I think it's Wisconsin. Uh, one of the maps from the earlier seasons had... Uh, it was the one with the paper factory or whatever. I forget which one. I think it's Wisconsin. But you have to load, like, a whole bunch of those. And, like, in this case, you would have to do it like this, where you'd have to set them here and then unpack and pack to make them pack properly. 
And if you let go, I'm at a roll here, it would probably roll off. So you could just leave it attached to the crane. And as long as it's touching the cargo, you can pack and unpack and then it'll be all good. All right, now I have this disabled because I was trying to get my uh, picture for my icon. Okay, so it just needs to go to the railway station, which is just over there. Okay, so basically I just need to follow this road. Actually, let's go. This isn't hard to go over this, so let's just go this way. I've done it before. It's pretty easy. It's just an easier path to take rather than like winding around. So let's just mark out our path so we don't get lost. Because I tend to get really confused over here in this like foresty area. I don't know. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna get turned around. Uh, we're just gonna have to jackknife ourselves and then we should be able to get turned around. Um, so yeah, I, I have I have plans to get a good bit done in this episode. We should be able to get some at least three contracts knocked out. I think. Um, so if you don't remember, I've talked about this in past episodes, but I fell down my steps, my basement steps, uh, a couple weeks ago now. It's actually been two weeks as of recording this today. Um, oh yeah, and speaking of, I totally missed, uh, I missed today, um, and, like, I didn't have a video upload today, and, and by what I mean today is as of recording this, it is Monday, October 30th, it's at, like, 9 o'clock at night, but, um, I didn't have a video uploaded today, just because Sunday night, uh, my wife and I were catching up on Loki. We had a couple episodes to catch up on, and by the time we got done with that, it was already like 11, past 11 o'clock at night. I still hadn't recorded an episode, and I just, I wasn't really feeling it. I just kind of chilled and played some Assassin's Creed the rest of the night, and um, yeah, so I didn't have a video to upload today. And you know, I'm not going to stress about it. If I don't get a video uploaded every day, it's not a big deal. Like, it really isn't. So, but anyway, um, I had fallen down my steps two weeks ago and man, it's, you know, I'm not, I'm not young. I'm in my thirties. So it's, you know, anytime I get hurt or like injure myself, like it's, you know, it's not like I'm a young teenager and heal up quickly and don't have a lot of issues, but man, like my, my right side on my back, like I would say like my kidney region area, like that region of your back. Oh, it's been so sore, dude. And it's finally really starting to feel better. I mean, it still hurts, but, like, there was there was nights where I couldn't sleep because I couldn't get comfortable in any position. Like, laying on my back hurt, laying on either side hurt, laying on my stomach hurt. Like, it was just horrible. I don't think I, like, I, I think at most I probably bruised, like, a rib on, like, the back side of my, my rib cage. Because that's where it hurts. And, like, if I take, like, deep breaths or, like, cough or anything, then I get pretty substantial pain. So, you know, it's possible I, f like, fractured or cracked a rib or bruised a rib, but... Oh, shit, did I lose anything? No. Um, but, yeah, so I'm feeling better. It's, it's definitely better. Um, it doesn't hurt as bad, but it definitely still hurts. I was on my feet for a long time on Saturday. Uh, and at the end of the day, it was killing me. I was also chasing around my youngest. We were down at the river. There was like a little event going on at the pavilion. It was a nice day, so I took them down. And they have they haven't seen my, my parents, which is their, their Nana and Pappy in a while. Um, oh my God. No, 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 Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no.
this is why. <laughs> uh, damn it. Why did that happen? Oh, I gotta pick up all fucking eight of these, dude. Oh, it's miserable, man. Mm, I should have probably quit out. Or, like, closed the game, but I'd have to stop the recording for that. And I just, that's just... What are you doing? Why does it do this? I don't understand this crane. When you're, like, off axis like this it acts super weird I just need to start picking them up and throwing them on here and just packing and it'll just fix itself if I even can pack I may not be able to pack with it crooked like that hate when it does that, dude. It's so stupid. Stop doing that. Alright, I need to... I don't think I'm going to be able to reach that back one, which I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I feel like in this case too, like where we're not really on level ground, if I would let this go, it would probably fall off. So I can unpack and pack and it puts it in the truck. We're slowly tipping even more. I'm gonna have to turn around here because I'm not gonna be able to pick all of them up. So we're gonna have to. This really sucks. This is taking. This is gonna take up a lot of time. So we're unfortunately gonna end up not getting everything done we wanted to get done, but. There isn't a whole lot I can do about that because I'm an idiot and I fucking tipped it. That's like this one reason why if I was playing with a controller I probably could have saved that. But the fact that I'm on a wheel it's so much harder to save yourself when you start to tip like that just because... It's just really hard. Like, I don't really know how to explain it, but like the buttons on the wheel, just depending on which orientation your wheel's in, the buttons could be in a different spot, and it just makes it it makes it hard sometimes. get turned around however I'm gonna do that I don't know but let's get turned around and then I will be on my merry way This should work. This this 
six slot trailer is a pain to get turned around, but I should be able to do it here. It should just spin itself around, as long as it doesn't tip over. I don't know how much gold weighs. I've never really paid that much attention to weights in this game. It doesn't really tell you, but people have like data mined it and figured it out. And there are there are sheets like people have made like cargo guides for weight and stuff. I don't know how much gold weighs. Gold gold is a heavy heavy metal. Well, it's a soft metal, but it is heavy. Like gold weighs a lot. It's dense, I guess I should say. All right. Back to the wheel. Well, that took some time. But I chose to come this way, so, you know, whatever. I'm only about a third of the way through the episode, so... I was honestly going to try to record two two episodes tonight, play for like two hours, but I don't I really, I'm not going to have time for it. I might still try to record a cyberpunk episode as well, try to get myself a little bit ahead again, but my son being difficult for bedtime kind of, you know, changed that plan, so. Uh, he told me he was scared, which is probably partly my fault. I was when he got home from school. I was watching a. Uh, I don't know if you know who Sam and Colby are, but they're uh, they're YouTubers. I've followed them for a very long time, but they've you know gotten into like ghost hunting and they do videos like that. And he watches stuff like that pretty often. Not necessarily ghost hunting, but he watches a lot of like. He's into that whole. Um, there's like monsters from like Roblox and stuff like Siren Head and like um, Seek and like you know all those weird monsters that people have made up and he's watched Sam and Colby videos before but I don't know I, I think that's what was scaring him or whatever and it's my own fault I shouldn't have had it on but I didn't finish it I don't, he only was watching it for like maybe 10 minutes but I don't know I don't necessarily believe in any of that stuff either. I just, I like Sam and Colby. I've followed them for a very long time. Like back when they didn't do that, they were just like urban explorers and whatever. So, but. But he's sleeping, so he went to bed. But I try to tell him, I'm like, you know, nothing's, nothing can get you while you're in your bed. Like, Daddy's here. Daddy won't let anyone in your room. Like, you'll, you're totally safe. And, like, he, he understands that. He's like, I know. So, like, I think a lot of it, it comes down to he just wanted to come out here because he knew I was going to be playing a game, and he likes to watch me play games. He likes especially... To sit here when I record and I just don't like it because as much as he tries to be quiet he's just not quiet so he understands the concept of like recording a video for YouTube because he like pretends and does it himself like he says he has a channel and all this stuff and like he'll make videos so be like hey guys welcome back to my video so like he you know he understands but he just has a hard time staying quiet all right I got that done. Old oil rig. Where's the drilling equipment? That's on Burn Forest. But it needs to come here. And this. Why can't I? There we go. Oh wow, this has everything. How did I not realize that that had everything? literally has everything. Oversized cargo, that's from the quarry. 
Um, let's see. That's timber. I don't want to do those. The hay bales. The medium pipes. There are some medium pipes that are sitting, like, right here, I believe. Yeah. But... See, that has small pipes. Where the hell do I get all these medium pipes from? There's just small pipes everywhere. And the crafting plant, like this crafting place, you can only make cabins and consumables. But you can see I have the stuff there for those. Which I guess we could go do that. But like none of those warehouses have... Fire department, small pipes. Yeah, let's, okay, since we're here, let's do this. So we need three small pipes and then the consumables. Perfect. I could probably just bust through that fence, but we'll just turn around. I mean, I have this six slot trailer. I have eight slots, so we can get, we can at least get the three small pipes and, how do I want to do this actually? I'm trying to think. I guess I could get the three small pipes. Cause I can't, I wouldn't be able to get all of them. Six would be, I wouldn't have enough space. Because does both of them need? Oh no, this one needs metal rolls. Hmm. Oh, out of fuel. Okay. Um. So small pipes, small pipes, small pipes, and then. The metal rolls? Or should we go get the consumables? We're gonna do this. We're gonna do that, and then we're gonna drive back, and we're gonna pick up the consumables, and we'll just stack them on our bed and pin them with the crane. And then we'll get both of these done at once. Sounds like a real good plan. Back to the wheel. Whoops. All right, changing your view with the wheel is really bad because you have to use the D-pad on the wheel and it doesn't work very well. It's very, uh, you have to like hold it down because obviously if you just tap it, like it's gonna do that. So it's kind of annoying. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna like I said, we're gonna go craft these consumables and we're gonna just um, overload or cargo stack whatever you want to call it and we will pin them down I could have taken the metal rolls from that thing but that's fine uh, we're gonna pin them down with our crane and then we'll just go through the other uh, gateway which I believe will actually be closer totally could be wrong on that but Either way, it's going to be some driving. This may be all we get in this episode. I don't know. We'll see what time it is when we get there. Um, we still have about 30 minutes left, so I don't think this is going to take 30 minutes, but it might. But if we get this done, I think we'll be nearby the hay bales, so we could do that. Like, I try I try to, you know, get things methodically, like, done here so that it all makes sense. See, I get confused here. Like, I was pretty sure I had to turn here, but I always have to check. Because once you turn here, this pretty much just leads straight back. So I don't, I won't need to check the map at all again. But, like, I know these maps pretty well now, so I can pretty much drive around them without much help with the map. But for some reason, this area of the map just confuses me. I get, I always make the wrong turn. But I really want to get, I want to get Ontario done. I want to move on to British Columbia. So that's why I'm kind of like I'm playing with my wheel because I can do longer episodes. So I'm able to get this done essentially 
twice as quickly because instead of this being, you know, like this would be, this would have been two 30 minute episodes rather than one long, hour long episode. And I can get twice as much done in the longer episode. And I'm playing with the wheel, which everyone's been, you know, itching to do since it was broken. And now that it's fixed again, and since my channel got a lot of views because of my videos on the wheel, um, you know, I think a lot of those people subscribed and hopefully they still see my videos and still check them out. Because I'm almost at 500 and when I hit 500, I can potentially monetize, but like, it's, I still don't, I still wouldn't get AdSense. It would just be, um, like subscriptions and stuff. So like you could become a channel member, which I mean, I, I may just apply for it because there's not, it's not going to hurt me to do it but like I just don't know if like someone does become a channel member I don't really know what perk I could give them like I I mean obviously most channels that have channel memberships like offer some kind of benefit for it and I don't know what I could do for it um because I'm not I'm not ahead enough to be able to like say like you could get like early access to videos and stuff like that uh, I, I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't really know what I could do. If you have an idea for me, definitely let me know, but I don't, I don't know. I thought about maybe, like, I don't know, channel members could, I could have, like, a save file that's, like, a co-op save file, and, like, we could do that, or, like, I could help you with something on your game, or I don't know. I, I don't know, I don't know what I would do. Not sure. I really don't have like a community yet to be able to like discuss those things. So maybe one day when we do. But I don't know. I'm hoping to hit a thousand subscribers. That would be great. So that I could just monetize normally with AdSense and maybe make a couple bucks a month, you know? You never know. I mean, that's everyone's ultimate goal I guess when you start uploading videos to YouTube but it's not like you know my I'm not like getting my hopes up about it but to be honest it's only really been about a year maybe a year and a half since I've really been like uploading videos and the fact that I've gotten almost 500 subs in that amount of time it's not crazy fast by any means but the video game um category on YouTube is so like there's so many content creators out there for video games to where it's pretty hard to even you know gain subscribers in that um, genre so like I don't know I'm I'm kind of impressed that it's it's done that well um, but you know I mean I've had some videos that have done really well and have gotten you know, 25,000 views. So I need to, I need to make, I have another SnowRunner Tips video that I've been like planning and working on, but I haven't, I haven't like recorded any clips for it, which I need to do. And the, this is really just like, um, some basic tips, like just quick tips that can like help make your, uh, play a little bit more efficient or, you know, a little less stressful. Just things that I've mentioned, like, like the crane thing for instance with packing your cargo like you can leave it attached to your crane and still pack it and it'll pack just fine just stuff like that that i haven't really mentioned in any of my other videos but i feel it could be really beneficial to some people all right so we need to craft these and then we need to put that here
I really should probably go to the fuel station before I head back over there. Which, it's not that far away, so we're just gonna do it. What the heck is happening here? It's like stuck to the... never seen that happen before. Now it's all messed up. Damn it. I really wish these cranes worked a little faster. Like, it takes so long to just lift the winch. It should be alright, it should stay. There shouldn't really be any reason why it doesn't. But let's go refuel up the truck, refill up my um, reserves, and then we can go to Burn Forest. I don't usually stack like this. If I do, it's usually only one cargo. I don't like doing it with multiple pieces, but in an effort to try to save some time here, I think this is the best choice to do. And typically, this stuff will stay there as long as you don't drive crazy. Uh, there is this little like weird mudslide in the road up here that's probably gonna cause some problems, but we should be able to make it. I usually go this way. like the way that's sitting on there, but... I should have probably placed them side by side and just pinned it with the crane, but... I thought this was better, but I don't think it is. Right. We just, we have to drive a lot in Burn Forest, so I didn't want to get over there and run out of fuel, because my fuel trailer that I took over there is out. It's empty now. There's still a contest over there I need to do. I think my 750 is over there. So if anything, if we have a little bit of time, maybe we'll just jump in the 750 and do that contest. Just to get that done. Honestly, really dreading all the water that you have to use in the freaking some of the final contracts. Like it's insane the amount of water. It's gonna take so many trips, and like the water booms are useless. So I'm probably I'm not even gonna use those because it's pointless to fill them up. Like if they would have had contracts to like fill the water booms, then it would have made sense. But like they don't. So like. Really, I think the water rooms are intended for, like, co-op. 
to where you would fill up the water booms and then you'd have someone over there that's just running water from the booms to the places they need to go. This is definitely gonna fall off when I go over here, but we'll fix it. Uh, where's the other one? still be over here it's that's weird I've never had that happen before yeah I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to grab it I might be stuck Oh, I fell down. I guess I just haven't traveled through gateways with more than one piece of cargo stacks, but I know it like releases the winch, so I was expecting the one to drop off. Okay. There's the first one. So let's map this out so we don't get lost. which one this is. Oh, it is the one that I have active. So that's fine. That'll get rid of the pipes and then I can pack this. I don't have to cart it around anymore. Once I get this, 
packed in the trailer, it won't be as tedious. Yeah, I don't know. I think this is all we're going to get done. I don't think I'm going to be able to get anything else done after this. I should be able to get both these delivered, but I think that'll be it for the episode, unfortunately. Unfortunately, tipping those gold out took a lot of time. Probably took 10 minutes to fix. Well, maybe not 10 minutes, but it took a chunk of time to do. So... And then the whole gateway fiasco with these things took some time, you know, just things like that. But at least, you know, I got more done than I would have if I didn't prep anything, that's for sure. Because if I would have had to get all that stuff and run it to the crafting zone to craft these consumables, and then, you know, I wouldn't have gotten any of this. Like, I wouldn't have gotten the gold thing done, like, none of it, so... We did get some big contracts done, which is good. And uh, once once we do this, we'll check, see what all we have left. But there's not a whole lot left other than putting out fires, really. Other one. And it's not that far away. Yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, let's go back down this way. Let's just map this out again so I know where I'm going. It's going to be close. I'm, I'm definitely going to be cutting it close on time here. Alright, and we can go up this way. We just basically need to follow this road around. Go this way. This way. Follow it around here. Like I said before, and if you're new here, I do record on my PlayStation. I don't have a computer. I'm not recording to a computer or anything, so I am limited to one hour. I can't go over an hour, or it will just stop the recording. And I also use Share Factory to like add my intro, outro, and whatever else, and um, that's also limited to one hour, so I can't go over an hour, and we're getting pretty close to that. We only have about... 10 minutes left. At 55 minutes, it'll pop the timer up on the top of my screen. You won't be able to see it, but it'll have the little like red circle like that it's recording, and it'll come up at 55 minutes. And then once it hits 59, 59, it cuts the recording. It saves it, but like it just it'll just end the recording. 
and that's as long as it's going to be able to be. When If that happens, um, I'll just end, if I'm not going to make it, I'll just end the recording and then I'll start a new one and I'll just kind of splice it together. I'll, I'll be able to cut out something at some point throughout this hour long to be able to make it under an hour, but I don't think we'll have any problem. I think we'll make it just, just fine. We have 10 minutes to get there and it's not that far away. I just had like uh, a little bit of a dry scratchy throat the past couple days. I really hope I'm not getting sick. My youngest son has a runny nose again, but I mean that's just kind of typical. Children always have runny noses and coughs, but I don't know. I just I don't feel like I'm getting sick. I just have a scratchy throat and I have to cough every now and then. I'm honestly kind of surprised I haven't been sick yet since my uh, oldest has been back in school. He's been sick, and his little brother has been sick, clearly from something he's brought home from school, but I haven't gotten sick, and my wife hasn't really gotten sick either. Typically, we usually always go through like a series of time where we're just sick. We're all snotty and coughing and miserable. Right there's the contest I haven't done yet. Oh. Yeah, we're almost there, and I haven't had the. We're not at 55 minutes yet. At least hasn't popped up yet. Probably close, but it's literally just right down around this corner, or down around this bend. I guess it's not really a corner. You can even see it right there. This trailer is so heavy, it really bogs this truck down. That's why I don't really like using it. So yeah, fire department, um, putting out the fire at the storage we have to do, which that's a lot of water, man. Uh, we have to do that, which we need to use the seismic vibrator for, and then putting out the underground fires, putting out the fire at the factory. So really just a bunch of water. We'll do this one, and then we'll do all the water ones. 
well, pretty much, we're going to save the water ones for last. That's going to be what we end this all with. So probably in the next episode, we'll try and work on this stuff to get this all done. Um, and the same with these. I kind of want to get these two done. And then we'll finish off fire department and end the region. So we're getting there. We're at 81%. Um, only have 12 more missions to do. We have everything else. Um... Uh, no, we don't. Where was that watchtower I repaired? I don't remember which watchtower it was. Oh, I guess it's that one because the other ones aren't there. Alright, well, I'll... I'll I mean, I just never use that watchtower, so I'll I'll make sure I hit that at some point. Probably when we do this mountain ride, I'll just I'll hit this watchtower because it's definitely this one because they disappear off the map once you clear them. Uh, I didn't re I didn't realize I didn't do it when I repaired the watchtower. So yeah, we gotta hit that watchtower and then we gotta finish off the missions and the contest. Yeah, but all the tasks. Actually, I think there's a task that we haven't done yet. Isn't there? Yeah, something somewhere. I don't I don't know what that one is. I don't see it anywhere. Access to location. Fires are extinguished. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know where that last uh, task is, so I might have to look that up, because it's kind of weird. I don't see it anywhere on the map. Even, even in this list. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, now it's here. Alright, so we'll have to go pick that up too. Which actually, can I jump in one of these? I can. Let's just pick it up so we know what it is. There's so many trucks around this map because this, this region has given so many trucks. Okay. Visit the burn forest plot. Alright, well, we're not going to do that right now, obviously, but at least we picked it up, so we'll, we'll take that out next episode. But anyway, hope you liked it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to, and I will catch you in the next episode. Have a good one.